Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today we have something truly special in store. The artist smoking a succulent ham on the pit barrel cooker. Get ready for a flavor journey like no other. Before we dive in, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and let's get cooking. Before we unveil the magic, let me introduce you to the, our secret weapon, the pit barrel cooker. It's not just a smoker, it's a flavor enhancer, a culinary companion that turns every dish into a masterpiece. We'll start by prepping the pit barrel cooker, fill the charcoal basket, add some wood chooks, and then place a full charcoal chimney of lit coals right on top. While the pit barrel cooker is coming up the tent, let's get back to the star of the show, the ham. When picking out ham, look for quality cuts with a good layer of fat. This will ensure a juicy and flavorful end result. Remember, the better the ham, the better the flavor infusion. Put the ham in an aluminum foil pan and add some apple juice. Due to the aluminum pan being somewhat flimsy, place it on a cookie sheet so that it's easier to put on and pull off the ham from the pit barrel cooker. At this point, we aren't going to be adding any seasoning. The smoke from the pit barrel cooker is going to add a layer of flavor. We will also be making an orange and whiskey glaze that is going to add so much delicious flavor as well. Next, it's time to add the ham to the smoker. Once we have added the ham to the smoker, we will then insert the rebar hanging rods and close the lid. We will chuck back in about an hour to see the progress. While the ham is smoking, we will make the glaze. In a saucepan, add one cup of whiskey. We are adding a honey flavored whiskey at this point. Add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a half cup of brown sugar, Add a cup of honey. Add a third cup of dark molasses. And add one full 18 ounce jar of orange marmalade. Place the saucepan on the stove and let it come up to a boil before simmering. At the beginning, the glaze should be loose and somewhat watery. What we're looking for is the glaze to thicken up and become more like a syrup. Okay, so it's been about an hour and it's time to, for the first check-in. I'm looking for an internal temperature of 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. This ham is already cooked. We are really just warming it up and adding a layer of smoky goodness. Everything so far is looking good. I'm going to add a, some glaze to the ham and then close up the pit barrel cooker. I'll let this cook for about another 30 minutes to an hour, and then we'll check in on the progress then. It has been about an hour. I'm going to remove the ham from the aluminum pan and place it directly on the grill grate. I'll add some more glaze and let it get tacky by letting it sit on the smoker for another 30 minutes. It has been about another 30 minutes for a total smoking time of two and a half hours. We are at an internal temp of 155 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's time to pull the smoked ham from the pit barrel cooker. Allow the ham to rest for about 15 minutes before slicing. And there you have it, a smoked ham with orange and whiskey glaze on the pit barrel cooker. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. While you're at there in the comments, let me know what are your favorite glazes to put on ham. Till next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.